what is going on battlefield 2042 players there's a whole bunch of bugs that are going on with pc players on controller i don't know if you guys saw my last video but we have a huge issue where the controller is just flicking the movement up and down left and right a lot of people are having this issue and i finally fixed it after hours and hours and hours of trying to figure out something we finally figured out exactly what we can do to fix this problem so check it out i'm gonna show you guys how to do it all right you guys so first things first we're gonna hop in steam we're gonna go into big picture make sure that your controller is being read by steam make sure that it's actually you know showing up and all the buttons are there everything all that good stuff let's go ahead and make sure that we're showing up so you're going to want to make sure on your controller settings you're just going to go to one of the basic controller settings you're going to want to go you, I, i'm i'm selecting both of these it's worked for me some people unselect this i don't know if it's working for them but me personally i've tried everything and this is exactly what's working for me i have a scuff impact and i also have a battle beaver and it's working for both controllers so this is what the settings i have I highly recommend you guys go with these. So we're going to turn both guide on and PlayStation configuration support on and make sure that your controller is being detected and that it's actually there. After you guys have gotten that all done, we're just going to go ahead and back out of this. So you guys are going to want to go into Steam. After you go into Steam, you're going to want to go over here and manage the game. Go to properties. Once you're in properties, you're going to go to where it says controller. Some people are disabling this. I personally have had no luck with it. It does not work. If I disable this, the Steam input, it literally doesn't even read my controller. It'll I, it'll read like three buttons and do some random stuff. I have no idea. So I've actually got it to work. Enabling the Steam input, that works. Okay, so make sure you guys are enabling the Steam input. Make sure it's there, and then you're good to go. After that, there's no other settings that you guys are going to want to use inside of Steam. After you guys are done exiting Steam, you guys are going to want to run the game through Origin. Personally, for me, I've heard a lot of bad, uh, people are having a lot of poor experiences with Steam messing up controller settings, doing other weird stuff. I don't know. I personally haven't had them, but I'm just taking from what other people have said. And I'm just running with it. Personally, Origin hasn't given me any problems. And ever since I've done this, it's been working 100% completely great and fine. So I'm running the game through this just because I just want to be safe. I want that extra protection. After you guys get Battlefield fired up, you're going to want to go into accessibility. It's literally just one setting that you guys are going to have to mess with, okay? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn off the mouse raw input. Turn that off. No matter what you do here, it does not matter. We're going to go over that very shortly. One other controller setting I want to show you guys is crucial. It's going to change the way that you play on controller. It's going to change the feel of Battlefield 100%. If you're new to Battlefield, you might not know about this control setting. Battlefield has accelerations on some of their movements, which means it kind of slows you down. It does, it's not as snappy as Call of Duty or Valorant or any of those games where you're going to have a snappy movement, okay? It's going to be under your controller settings. You're going to want to go to on foot and down in the advanced, the very first actual setting is your aiming left, right acceleration. From the factory settings, it's going to be at 50. You want to turn that all the way to zero. That means you're going to be snapping. It's instant, going to go wherever you want. If you don't like the snappy movement and you want it to be a little bit slower, then you can turn it up but basically it's an acceleration of your movement so the higher up you go there's going to be a little bit of an acceleration to wherever you're going the lower it goes there's it's just snapping there's no acceleration it goes all the way to nothing to where you're literally your movement is instant and you're going everywhere so this this setting i highly recommend you turn this to zero and just try it out all you got to do is just try it go from your 50 go down to zero go out there give it a try if you don't like it, go right back to 50 but i can 100 percent guarantee you you're going to enjoy the way that the game feels when your movement is instant and snappy as opposed to a little bit of slop. That's what makes the game feel sloppy, the fact that it's got that. Why they put it in there, I personally don't know, but me as a controller player, I like to be snappy and I like to make my movement quick and I like things to happen fast. So that's a personal preference. I'm going to tell you guys right now, you're going to love the way that the controller feels after you guys have done this. But that's the only controller setting. I could go in depth on some other controller settings that I do have, but maybe we'll do that on another video. So let's go ahead and hop in game and show you guys what's going on. All right, so when you guys spawn into a game, you're going to want to go back to that same exact setting over here in options. Go over to mouse and keyboard. If for some reason, like I said, for some reason, no matter what you do in the main uh, the main screen or whatever, it, for some reason, it still defaults to turning it on. I do not even know why. What's funny is the fact that if I were to quit the game right now and go to the main menu, it would stay off. For some reason, it's an in-game setting. You guys turn this off right here. I guarantee you will not have any more of that crazy flicking going on or nothing. It's going to be a completely solid game. I guarantee you. If this fixed your problem like it did mine, tell me in the comments. You guys want to drop a like on the video, greatly appreciated. We are actually on the road to a thousand subs here. So if you guys want to drop some sub love, greatly appreciated. If you guys are looking for some more Battlefield 2042 content, we are going to be here all day doing this. So appreciate you guys very much. We're also live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash dbot1. Thank you guys. I hope I helped everybody out because I know this is one of the most annoying problems that could possibly go on in this game having your aim flicking all over the place and it just makes it super super annoying make sure you let all your friends know about this so they can fix it as well and i'll catch you guys on the next one